Uh, my dad started Koopman Lumber in 1939, but it really was not Koopman Lumber. It was Peter T. Koopman Contractor. So 39, he started his own construction. He built a lot of houses. He probably built well over 100 houses in this town. And uh, then the wall came along, and, and it was tough getting building materials. So if he could get a truckload of lumber, so he'd buy that and put it in a, one of the garages under our house, put a bell outside, and my mother would uh, help him go back, take care of us kids. And then um, the, the hardware business started to take off. So he built a hardware store next to the house and uh, called it Whitensville Hardware. And then they called it Coop and Lumber Company, Coop and Lumber and Hardware. Well, he was an extremely hard worker, uh, almost to the point of taskmaster. I mean, he just, he worked harder than most people could work, and he expected people to work that hard, which was impossible. So he was basically never happy with the way anybody was working. My dad came down once when he was 65, wanted to retire, and he said he couldn't find anybody that would buy the business would I come up and run the business. We moved to town when I was 10 and I pretty much started working here when I was 10. My name's Denise Brookhouse and I'm the CFO of Koopman Lumber. When I was a little kid, I really wanted to hang out in the hardware store with my dad rather than being home. So I would come down, my dad would put me to work, basically dusting shelves, facing product and so forth. But I really had my eye on cashiering. And uh, worked on Saturdays and uh, I always remember working a lot more than I wanted to, so. My name is Tony Brookhouse. I'm one of the owners here at Koopman Lumber. Lumber is in our name. It's Koopman Lumber Company. We've been established since 1939, and lumber is, is a huge part of what we do. I think we've tried to carve out a niche with the contractor and the remodeler and the professional because We've got an ability to service those guys. With our distribution center that we've had now for 10 years, believe it or not, we can deliver anywhere in New England. We want to be important to you, and we want you to be important to us. Well, we pride, we pride ourselves on our staff. You know, I always kind of joke with uh, the Cheers line, everybody wants to go where people know their names. So, you know, we value relationships, whether it's, you know, we have some customers who come in every morning at 7 whether they need something or not. My name is Bill. I'm the manager of our Oxbridge Koopman Lumber store. I've been with Koopmans for around 15 years. My name is Jimmy Vitello. I've been working for Koopman Lumber for 20 years. Yeah, 20 great years, I might say. A couple of the things that kind of sets us apart from some of other companies that sell similar products is we take care of our customers that come in the door. We greet them when they come in. Uh, we like to ask them what their project is and how we can best help them. They're made to feel at home. They're genuinely cared for. They're taken to the aisle where the product of their interest is. What I hear over and over again is that I love to go to Koopman's because I love the people there. They're so helpful. Because of the size that Koopman Lumber is, we have seven locations currently in the nearby area. Sometimes people get the perception that because we're small, we may be more expensive. That is often not the case. I want them to leave here with having had this experience to say, that was incredible. Those people genuinely care about me and my family and the projects that I'm working on. It wasn't just about a monetary exchange. My vision is to keep going what we have going. Uh, continue to do things what we do, do well, just do more of it and provide more service to customers. I guess what I'd hate to see happen is, is that we lose that personal touch that I think we're known for. What I don't want to do, and I know my family agrees with this, I, I, we don't want to grow so big that we lose the feeling that we have. They're treated as they're important because they are important, because without our customers then we don't have a business. So I just want to say thank you to our customers, thank you to our employees. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. I guess what I, what I would really like to say to our customers, if anybody seeing this, is, is if none of this is possible without you. For 75 years of supporting us here at Koopman Lumber. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Myself and my staff here at Koopman Lumber I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can say grazie. 
Thank you for a great 75 years. Thank you. Thank you very much.